In this chapter, we will learn about the dot method in addition. We use this method to add digits in two number lines. For multiple number lines, we use the drop 10 method. I will leave the link to that chapter in the description box below. Since dot method is such a simple concept, with just a little bit of practice, you can easily solve them mentally in seconds. In the examples, you will notice red dots. We will use it in two ways. First is carry over 10. And secondly, if it is placed above any digit, then we will use it as 1. Please don't feel confused. You will learn the proper usage in the following examples. Here we have to add 25 and 36. We will solve this example step by step so that you are comfortable with the concept. We have two sides here, units or ones and tens. We will start adding from the unit side. 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. Now 11 means 10 plus 1. Since dot is equal to 10, we will put a dot on top of 3 in the tens column. Now we are left with 1 from 11. We will write that 1 in the answer section. Moving on to the 10 side, whenever the dot is above a digit, it represents 1. So we will add the dot or 1 to the digit 3. So 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Next we will add 4 and 2 which is equal to 6. We will write the 6 in the answer section and our final answer is 61. In this example, we have units, tens and hundreds. We will start adding from the unit side. 8 plus 7 is equal to 15. Now 15 is 10 plus 5. So for the 10, we will put a dot above the digit in the next column. In this case, it is 6. And write the remainder 5 from 15 in the answer section. Next, we will add the dot or 1 that is above 6. So 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. Moving on to the tens column, 4 plus 7 is equal to 11. So we will put a dot for 10 above the digit in the next column and write the remainder 1 in the answer section. Now for the hundred side, first we will add the dot meaning 1 to the digit 2. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Next, 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. Since there are no more digits to add, we will write 9 in the answer section and our final answer is 915. We have two questions in this practice quiz. Please feel free to pause the video to solve them. The answer and explanation is provided after each question. Practice quiz 1. What is 78 plus 59? And here are your options. This is the answer for practice quiz 1. Practice quiz 2. What is 942 plus 318? You can choose your answer from these options. Here is the answer along with explanation for practice quiz 2. Let us end the chapter with a beautiful quotation by Martin Luther King Jr. The time is always right to do what is right. Thank you and take care.